The longest day of the year is tomorrow, which can only mean one thing. Summer will be officially upon us. In this week's Skywatch 16, meteorologist John Hickey shows us what the summer solstice means across the globe and what it looks like from space. For many of you, your favorite season is about to begin, astronomical summer. The fun begins, if you're a fan of summer, officially a little bit before 11 on Wednesday. But what exactly is astronomical summer? Well, if you're looking down in our solar system, this is the point when our Earth is most tilted towards the sun. The sun's rays are right above what's known as the Tropic of Cancer, which is about 23 and a half degrees above the equator. So in the northern hemisphere, this is the time of year when we have the most amount of daylight. As you get closer to the equator, you get mostly equal daylight, and once you drop below the equator in nor northern hemisphere summer, you can see that you have a lot less daylight to work with each and every day. For our area, we're looking at more than 15 hours of daylight at this time of year, and it's going to hang there for at least a couple of weeks before we start to retreat back closer to winter's darkness. That's what Northern Hemisphere summer looks like from space. There's a little bit of a misconception in Northern Hemisphere summer because people think that, well, we must be closest to the sun this time of year. But believe it or not, we're actually closer to the sun in the winter than we are in Northern Hemisphere summer. So those warmer days are all due to the fact because we are most tilted towards the sun. So if you're a fan of summer, this is your time of year. So kick back, relax, and enjoy. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.